Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Testy Tuesday. Testy Tuesday. Oh, yeah. This is where we really make you think hard, think straight, and dive right into the Bible to see whether what I told you was right or wrong. Yeah, you can do that if you want. Say we are in the last day of May, so goodbye May, hello June. It's going to be a hot one up our way. I don't know about yours, but hopefully you're going to have a, a good, sunny, beautiful day like we are. Well, um, this coming Sunday is Pentecost. What is Pentecost? Oh, we'll get to that in just in a, in a minute. But it is that time, according to the book of Acts, when... The disciples were all gathered together, and as you know, the Holy Spirit swept in like a mighty wind, like a like a, a fire that rested upon all those uh, disciples. And what happens? Well, it's what any good church service would have: is a pastor stand up and give a rousing sermon. That's exactly what Peter did. Now, Peter did what any what any good pastor would do in his sermon or her sermon and that is quote from the scripture so what prophet did peter quote from i'll give you some choices here you pick the right one was it hosea was it joel was it amos or was it obadiah peter who did he quote on that beautiful sermon that he gave Kind of a short and sweet one, and he ended up baptizing a whole slew of people. But was it Hosea, Joel, Amos, or Obadiah? Of course, you all know the answer. It was Joel. Joel. Yeah, he, he was he was explaining how the Spirit uh, swept in over all the people. And, well, what exactly was going on? Okay, let's get back to the story of what Pentecost is. That first Pentecost... People are in Jerusalem. Why? They're there to uh, celebrate Pentecost. All right, what's going on here? Pentecost, 50 days after Passover. For us as Christians, 50 days after Easter. And that, for the Jewish people, was the time to celebrate the early harvest season. Also to celebrate the giving of the land uh, to the people as they had ventured out of slavery in Egypt. So what did you do as a good Jew? You gathered together in Jerusalem if you could, but you would uh, bring your offerings of the first harvest that you had, and then you'd have a big picnic. Yeah, we had that yesterday uh, whenever we celebrated our Memorial Day celebrations, and hopefully you all had a good time. Now, in this meal, it wasn't just... Uh, a family gathering it was more than that you were called to bring others to the table with you all your slaves your pastor yes it said the levites that were the pastors of the land and also the foreigners and the widows and the orphans all those who were down and out this was to be more than a celebration this was to be a time of sharing and you would really commit yourself to sharing throughout the year with those people. So it was a very, very important holiday. And for Christians, it's now become an important holiday. In fact, of the major holidays, the three original major holidays of the Christian year, you had Easter first, then Christmas, and Pentecost. All right? Big, big times of celebration. So, okay, you know the answer then, that it was the prophet Joel that he was quoting from, talking about how the Spirit would rest on your sons and your daughters and everybody, because every, even the older guys were going to be um, prophesying as well. That would be guys like me. Hey, have a great Pentecost Sunday. Let the Spirit rest in your life. And in your heart. And I would like to hear your prophecies too. Especially on who's going to the Super Bowl this year. Will it be the Steelers or the Bills? Probably the Bills. God's blessings be with you. And may you enjoy a wondrous day.